Excel AI, Analyze Data, the button's right here in the Home ribbon. This used to be the Ideas button. Now, this button can do some amazing things. And guess what? Here at the Excel is Fun channel here at YouTube, we usually learn how to do the data analysis by hand. And the reason why is because if you don't know how the calculations are created, you don't have full control over it. But this Analyze Data button, we got to check it out. Here we have a sales table. I'm going to click in one cell and click the Analyze Data button. This opens up the Analyze Data Ideas pane. AI went through this data set and tried to find patterns. Now if we look at this first one, net revenue by region and product. So it looks like two conditions. I'm going to try this by clicking Insert Pivot Table. It puts a new sheet, Suggestion 1. That's kind of cool. And it gives us a cross-tabulated report. If I click inside the table, look at that. Even if I want to do some other analysis, it started the cross-tab pivot table for us. Now, I could go back over to data set, but over here on the right, I can click back on ideas. And down here, I see net revenue by product. That might be just what I want. Let's see what happens when I click insert pivot chart. It inserts a new sheet. And look at that. It has a pivot table and a pivot chart. And look at this. It formatted this in millions and gave us a label. Now, this may be exactly what we want. And it took us, what, a second to create, including these cool labels? This actually reminds me of Power BI and the automatic charts and labeling that happen in Power BI. Now, if I scroll down, let's try this one, Insert Pivot Chart. We get it on a new sheet, pivot table, and a pivot chart. It formatted it in thousands. And look at this. The horizontal bars are sorted, and the top two have the same color as the sales rep names. How cool is that? Ah, this one looks like a histogram. We build a lot of those here at the Excel is Fun channel. Insert Chart. Now, I actually don't like this one because it's using the built-in histogram chart, and that assumes that your data has a bell shape. Now, it's fine if it does, but that's not a safe assumption on a lot of data sets. I'm going to delete that one. Show all six results. I don't think I want this one, but I'm going to try Insert Pivot Chart. Here we get top two sales rep for net revenue. Over here, it was for units. So that's pretty amazing. Now, so far, we used a data set that needed summary before it could make a visualization. So on these two charts, it did pivot table and pivot chart. But over here, we have XY scatter detail. So this doesn't need to be summarized. And in fact, you cannot make an XY scatter from a pivot table. So let's see what happens when we click in here, Analyze Data. And look at that. That is a beautiful XY scatter. And when we insert a chart, it'll do just a chart. And I can tell you right now, this is how I am going to make my XY scatters from now on. I teach statistics all the time. And we always have to add our labels and then add a trend line. And this thing came out perfect. Now, when you go over and try and do the same thing, insert, scatter, drop down. Look at that. You have a lot of work to do. You have to add labels. You have to make sure it has a good chart title. And if you want that trend line, you have to add that. But AI makes my linear regression that much easier. All right, so this Analyze Data button on the Home Ribbon tab, it has some amazing uses, but be careful. And of course, if you like this video, click that thumbs up. And I want to hear from you in the comments. What do you think of Analyze Data? All right, we'll see you next video.